Welcome to the Berkeley Casting Lab. This is where we do all sorts of research on the action of soft baits, the action of hard baits, how to rig certain things, how to make them do different things. This is where we look at what the fish look at. This casting pool, 13 foot deep, 60 foot wide, is basically our own clear lake without fish in it. Underwater viewing area, we can go downstairs and look at the fish's perspective of how, how the baits are tuned, how they wiggle, what's the pitch, what's the yaw, how the tail's moving, anything you can think of we can look at. The fish in these aquariums tell us what they like the smell of, what they like the taste of. This is where we learn the different scents that attract fish. This oval pool is basically a, a fish racetrack where we drag lures in front of them at certain speeds and we look at what actions actually get them to strike the lure. This is our float tank. This is where we can make a bait wiggle the way it's designed to, but have it basically in a spot where we can film it, we can look at it, we can have pros look at it, where we can change things, bring it back to the float tank, and we can look at how our designs change the action of that bait. It's very useful when designing hard baits. This is one of our chemistry labs where we actually mix in the attractants and the certain scents that attract fish to bite. We put them into the baits and see what we can do. We actually build the prototype molds here as well. We can mess with different colors, different flex sizes, different dough materials. Anything you can think of about the texture of a bait, this is where we prototype it. This is our prototype Superline Lab. This is where we have our ideas for Superlines come to fruition. This is when we have all these crazy ideas and we actually try to make a couple of them and then test them and see how they work. We have several designers, some do hard baits, some do soft baits, and here's where they work in their Pro Engineering CAD system. They can pull the lines around, start messing with the shapes and sizes of baits, put on the face detail, anything you can imagine they can do on this program. In our machine shop, this is where our machinists can cut different uh, aluminum chunks and different plastic chunks and turn them into baits. This is where we build our prototype molds for both hard baits and soft baits. There's nothing that these machines can't do. We actually have a 3D printer now that gives us a lot of opportunities to create small parts for many, many things. But it gives us another tool in our process to create things that we can use to create products very fast. The product test center is basically science that we've applied to bait over the last few decades, now applied to fishing line. We tear apart fishing line literally to see how it reacts to certain conditions, how it holds up to certain conditions, and what can we do to make fishing lines better. There's a lot of things about a fishing line that an angler needs to understand that's going to help them catch more fish. For example, how much memory on your monofilaments, your nylon monofilaments, your fluorocarbons, how much memory do they have when they come off the spool and how does that affect how far you cast? We actually measure stuff like that here at the Berkeley Product Test Center. We can look at how well your super line holds on to the coloration that it has on it. How many casts does it take to wear all of that stuff off? If you buy red line or you buy a green line, you want green line or red line. How fast does it come off? We can actually test that here and make our products better. We have a shock tester that literally drops line with heavy weights to see how much it can withstand. So when a fish comes up and really smokes you, can it handle that? Or a fish that's fighting right by the boat and all of a sudden takes off on a last ditch effort, we can actually measure the force a line can withstand. The tensile tester is a nice slow pull. This shows us the tensile strength of that material. How much stress and strain can it take before it actually gives up? Not only on straight tests, but also on knot tests. Which knots tie better for certain lines? That's very important to the angle. We actually have a UV machine where we can wear down products. We do it on fishing line, we can do it on baits. This is where we do some studies on different rod actions. Everyone knows that the same rod action is not the same as another one, even they may say the same thing. We actually build rods 
and try to mess with guide sizes, guide spacing, different blanks, different graphite levels, how we wrap them, to see how that changes the efficiency of that rod in terms of casting, hook setting power, and sensitivity. I want to thank you for visiting our Berkeley Fishing Lab facilities, where science meets fishing and helps us all catch more fish.